Hey guys, Emma and I are going on a little road trip today. Ooh. We're in Iwaki, Fukushima, and today's adventure is sponsored by the Reconstruction Agency of Japan. I'm very excited to work with them to help promote North Japan. So we're going to be exploring the coastal area of Fukushima today. It's known as Hamadori. It's actually a part of Fukushima that I don't know very well, so I'm pretty stoked about it. There are lots of Pokemon themed things in the area. We're going to go hunting for some manholes and go to Japan's first Pokemon Park, which looks super cool. It just opened up a couple months ago. Haven't seen it yet, so I'm excited for that. And then we're gonna be staying at a Ryokan. It's gonna be awesome. Yay. So this morning I took the Hitachi Limited Express train from Sendai. It took about two hours to get here. That train line was actually closed down for nine years after the disaster in 2011 because there was so much damage between Sendai and Fukushima that they couldn't open up the line. And it just opened again, I think in the spring of 2020. So the train was like, brand new and it was super nice. It's a good way to travel between Tokyo and Sendai if you want to stop at different areas that the Shinkansen line doesn't stop at. So yeah, that's an option for you if you want to come out to North Japan. But yeah, our first stop today is a Pokemon manhole. So let's go. All right, we've made it to our first location. This is Yotsukura Port Roadside Stop. We'll probably be popping in after to grab some snacks, but the um, first manhole is here. So the Pokemon of Fukushima Prefecture is different than the one in Miyagi. You guys probably noticed that there was Lapras on all of the manholes in Miyagi. In Fukushima, it's Chansey. Super cute. Yay. Yay. Is Chansey Japanese lucky? Yeah, so it's a lucky in Japanese. Today, <laughs> so that's why they chose this as the Pokemon for Fukushima because Fuku means lucky and Chansey's name is lucky in Japanese. So you will see a theme of lots of Chansey stuff here in Fukushima. This Michinoki is so cute. There's lots of little handmade decorations all over it. <laughs> is that Pikachu? They have a Chansey vending machine. I thought that was just like a Miyagi Lapras thing. All right, let's pop into the Michinaki and see what they have for sale. It's a really nice one. Frozen cream pancakes. So many different types of ice cream. Oh, this cake looks really good. Might need to get one of those. Fresh blueberry jam. I think this area is famous for blueberries. They have lots of blueberry products here. Handmade un donuts. So un is like the un from uncle. The sweet red bean paste inside a donut. Those look really good. What is this? <laughs> what is it? It's so cute. Is this coffee? I feel like I need to get that. Yeah. <laughs> Do they have any other cat ones? But they have the yellow blend. <laughs> Look at this whole oh, blend. Oh, wow, they're all different? <laughs> yeah. This packaging's amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm, pers I'm personally a big fan of this one. <laughs> <laughs> I love this Michi no Eki. There's so much cat stuff here. And I love how it's like slightly derpy. Oh, these are awesome. They're really cute. Oh, yeah. and they're like, they're I like how they're different. different. Yeah. I'm supposed to be buying lunch, but I found a bunch of sweets <laughs> instead. I think there's a restaurant across the road though. They have a huge food court here. There's so much to choose from. There's usually not this much at Michinaki. They've got some Zada Soba. I'll probably get that. back into the car and drive to our Ryokan for the night. I think it's about 20 minutes away. It's pretty close. Uh, I'm excited to see what their onsen situation is like. I think they have some private baths that we can rent and chill in this evening. So it should be fun. Probably just chill for a couple hours before dinner. 
We ate quite a bit at that rest stop, so I don't think we're hungry yet. Six oh three, this is us. Oh wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. All right, let me give you guys a quick tour. Here's where me and Emma will be sleeping. It's futon style. Got a TV, fridge, and a view of the forest. There's a little shrine over there I wanna go check out later. Oh, this is cute. The smell of the tatami is so nice. I love it. Here's our yukata if we want to go use the onsen later. Our pest buses will come to you. <laughs> it's so our, cute. Our pest buses, that's really cute. <laughs> oh cool, a little map of the area. All their local dishes. And over here is the bathroom. And there's also a shower room. Sometimes at onsen hotels you don't get a shower like this and you have to go down and use the public one so that's good. I'm glad they have one. And that's it. That's our little room for the night. We're just gonna chill in the room for a bit. I think we've got an hour to kill and then we're gonna go downstairs and they're gonna show us their onsen area. I don't know if we'll go in before dinner because we have rented the Kashkiri bath for afterwards so we'll probably just wait till then but I wanted to show it to you guys anyway so you see what the facilities are like here but yeah it's a really nice deal and it's super quiet today. The elevator has a corn seat. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> corn seat. It's corn pretty seat. comfy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're um, heading to see the bath now. It looks so pretty. I looked it up online. It looks really nice but like I said we're probably not gonna get in. We'll just film it and show you guys what it looks like and then we'll have the private ones in later. This is so weird. Whoa. Whoa. I've never been in a Dokkan that has a tunnel. Wow. What is that? It's a It's really nice. Ooh, are those massage? Oh. In it. All right, we're going into the men's bath, which obviously normally wouldn't be allowed, but we want to take a peek at the outdoor baths that they have. And for the women's one, you actually have to like enter the water if you want to go to the outdoor bath. So the men's one, you don't need to do that. It's really spacious. It's so big. Oh, the outdoor one looks so cute. Ah, it's so pretty. Isn't it nice? It's so nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. Really peaceful. So the women's is on the other side of this, and it looks similar. I think it was a bit larger than this mm. one. This onsen is very English speaker friendly. The staff are very good at English, and all the notices have an English translation as well, which I don't see very often in Yokan, so that's nice. We're gonna go use the foot massage now. I've never used a foot massager like that. So they have a reflexology chart here that tells you all the different points on your feet that correlate with other parts of your body. There's uh, all different like organs here. So they say if you have some kind of like health problems in those areas, you should focus on massaging that part of your foot. Are you ready? Yeah, let's see. Oh, this see. one's on. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> this is really oh, strong okay. vibrations. Wow. <laughs> and then what does this button do? Whoa! <laughs> oh. Okay, it was on max. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what I think of this. I don't. I Oh, it kind of hurts. My feet are killing me. I just got back from skiing. Oh no. Let me try low. It's just vibrating so intensely. Okay. Low is kind of nice. Interesting. Uh, it says you can use it for other parts of your body if you want to like lie your legs. Ah! 
<laughs> across it or something. You could like massage your calves. <laughs> it kind of tickles. Like mine's like walking Yours away. is moving. <laughs> Where is it going? <laughs> okay, that's enough oh, oh god, it feels so weird when you stop it. Ah, it feels so weird. Ah, that I don't like it. Saying. I don't like it. That's like... Oh, this one I know. Doesn't it look creepy? It looks really freaky. Like, it's gonna, it's gonna grip my spine it's gonna and grab rip it you. out of my body. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try the creepy <laughs> back massager it, now. Oh. Yeah. It's weird. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like this. It's gentle. It's not vibrating <laughs> weirdly like the foot <laughs> thing. <laughs> so, lots of uh, onsen and Yokan have a little massage area like this where you can relax after the bath with massage chairs usually. Can you see it? Oh, let's... It's so creepy. Yeah, right, it's like, oh. <laughs> Time for dinner, we're heading to the izakaya now. I think it's close by, I hope it is. Check out the steamy onsen vents. So this whole town has onsen running underneath it. There's actually a really cool shrine just across the road from our hotel. So after we have dinner, we're gonna stop by there. It looks like they're doing a little light up thing at nighttime, but um, it's an onsen shrine, which I've never heard of before. Apparently the god that is enshrined in the shrine is an onsen god. So the whole shrine is based on onsen. I think they have a foot bath there that you can enjoy. And here's another foot bath. This whole town is just filled with onsen. It's really nice. Here's our izakaya for the night. Izakaya Kiwa is the name, and it's up these stairs here. Oh, this is such a cool old building. Left. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Kumbawa. This little izaka is so cute. The guy that owns it is really sweet. He's just preparing some dishes for us, his recommendations. We don't know what he's gonna serve us. Um, and he gave us some daigaku imo as an appetizer. I've still never found out why these are called daigaku imo, which means like <laughs> university potato. They're like a sweet glazed potato. It's, it's a dessert, they're quite sweet. Um, yeah, I don't know where the name comes from. If you know, let me know in the comments. Yeah, Hot steaming at the moment. And they've given us some local sake as a gift. I am a sake pro now that I did that sake course for a week. So <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to try those. Actually, Fukushima has some really nice sake. I've always felt that Fukushima has the most delicious sake out of everything that I've tried. So yeah, this should be really good. show you guys something cool. So these are grilled shiitake mushrooms. Very nice. We've been squeezing lemon on them and then putting salt on them, but not any salt. I've never seen this before and I'm just so amazed by it. I don't know if you guys will have seen it. It's called yukishio, snow salt, and watch. It's, it's like icing sugar. Look at it, powdery salt. It's so great. It sticks so well to the food. It's genius. Why doesn't everybody use this on everything? So I showed you guys agedashi tofu the last time I went to an izakaya with Natsuki and Chris and I'm getting it again today. It's my favorite. Um, I'm gonna have a recipe down in the description box. So check that out and you should really try making it at home because it's super easy to make. And I feel like it's the kind of food that anybody would like. It's like a really subtle flavor, but it's super tasty. Even if you're not a fan of tofu, I feel like this is a good way to like start getting into it. I think you'll like it. Mm -hmm. We just finished dinner and we told him that we're gonna go check out that onsen shrine. He's like, you gotta make lots of noise while you're there to scare away the ghosts. <laughs> <laughs>
。ごちそうさまでした。ありがとうございます。はい。ready for the ghost shrine。oh yeah baby。ah it's so nice。Ah,、oh, the little benches. That's so nice. How warm is it? Oh, it's like the perfect temperature. Is it? It's really nice. That's so cool. Here, we go. Here it is. Haunted shrine. The onsen water coming out of the rock. That's oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. Wow.、Uh, let's climb the stairs. I must have stayed in the bathroom too long. <laughs> Scary clanging noises. This is quite creepy at night. <sighs> oh, there's no onsen water. Sucks. Maybe because of Corona stuff. Maybe. I guess this is the foot bath place. Ah.、Oh. Beautiful. So pretty. Too bad there's a little foot bath running though, but that's alright. We're gonna head back to the onsen. We've got our kashkiri bath, our private bath for the evening. Alright, we've changed into our yukata and we're about to go in our private bathroom. I don't know what it looks like, I haven't seen any pictures of it. Oh, there's a whole like room to get ready. Please don't be super hot. <laughs> oh shit! It's、oh, no. <laughs> really awesome. No!、Ah. There's a hose here. I'm assuming this is for making it cool if you want. Why can't we get so hot? It's so hot. It's 49, dude. 49 degrees. That's insane. That's really hot. That's for, so hot. What do you normally set your bath to? 40. 40. <laughs> The hose helps so much. It's a nice temperature now. <laughs> Thank God for that hose. We are gonna chill in here for like half an hour or so and then head to bed. We've got Pokemon hunting tomorrow again and we're gonna see the Pokemon park. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye for now. Good morning, guys. We are just waking up. We grabbed our breakfast from the Kombini and we're going to put the address for the Pokemon park. Into the Navi. That's where we're heading now. Hell yeah. Are you excited for Pokemon Park? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so hyped. I really hope it's super cute. I hope there's a lot of lucky. There will be. I think there will be. It's very pink. I've seen the promo photos.、Cool. It's all pink Pokemon. It's adorable.、Nice. Um, so we're driving to Namie Town, which is, I think it's about an hour away from here. We're going to take the highway.、Um, I don't think I've been to Namie before. Have you? No, I don't have any red memory、oh, cool. of it. Oh, cool. Yeah. It should be fun, and I think they've got a manhole near the park as well. We're arriving at the Michinoaki now. I think there might be a manhole here, or it might be at the Lucky Park, which is close by. I think we're gonna park here and walk to the Pokemon Park. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's just Chansey all by herself. <laughs> Two of the Fukushima manholes down, seven to go. Those will be saved for another adventure, but let's go check out the park. We have just arrived at the Pokemon Park. Welcome to Lucky Park here in Namie Town. This is the first park in Japan to feature Pokemon playground equipment, believe it or not. There are three more Pokemon parks coming soon to Fukushima Prefecture.、Um, they're going to be built in Yanaizu, Showa, and Koriyama. So keep an eye out for those. I can't wait to see which Pokemon they feature there. So, Lucky is the main Pokemon, so they have based everything around Lucky and made it all pink. The main Chansey is a slide. I don't know what this one is. Oh, oh and it shakes. <laughs> There she goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm getting sick. Oh, God. Oh, oh actually, this looks kind of messed up. <laughs> I need a hand. <laughs> Yay!、Oh. All right, we're gonna try the big chancy now. Oh wow! It's like a whole, a whole、oh, thing.、Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect this. I thought it was gonna be like, like a, a full. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. You can go in here. 
Oh. Not much going on in here, but... <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. So there's a little slide here. Whoa, what's that? Oh, what? Oh, it's loud. That's cute. Going up. What's this one do? It's cool, they're all musical. Ooh, a tunnel slide. Ah! <laughs> Why is this side flat? Oh, you ride it? Oh, we ride it. Do, you, do, you, do we get on here? Yeah. Oh, it works for one person. Okay. Beautiful. Let's go on the swings. Ow! Ouch. <laughs> Ow! Yeah, it's very painful if I just don't move that much. <laughs> the lick a tongue slide is my favorite. You can't beat this. This is amazing. Ow! <laughs> We're inside the Michino Eki now. It's really nice. It's brand new. They just uh, built it, I think. And they have a little Pokemon section with plushies. Oh, they're adorable. They're really cute. I love how they sit like that. Also got Chansey Tamago Pan. I'm so sad they don't have a lick a tongue plushie. Yeah, They've got all the weird. other ones. This is the biggest Snorlax I've ever seen. Imagine having this in your house and just using it as like a bed. That's amazing. There's Pokemon everywhere. I love it. I found these Valentine's chocolates that look like Maro. I just want these for the package. It looks so much like him. That's so cute. How would you rate the Pokemon Park? I really loved it. I, I was, give it like was, a solid 10 out yeah, of 10. Yeah, yeah. It was really, really cute. Yeah. And, and it was fun. I mean, I think we we're lucky because basically no one was there, so we just got to go on everything, so. Apparently we came on like one of the coldest days of the year, so oh, nice. <laughs> that's why the park was empty. <laughs> Normally it would be quite busy, so yeah, we, we were super lucky. But mm. yeah, it's amazing. It's super cute. It's really well made, and apparently they're going to be having two more pop up in Fukushima, but um, they're building those, they're planning them right now, so look forward to those. I'll have the locations of the places we went to down below in the description box if you guys want to check them out, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! Bye. Bye.